I'll grant you one wish. Anything you want. What will it be? Hair. I've always wanted hair. Your wish is my command. On second thought, who needs hair? <laughs> you look much better bald. Very funny. Hmm, your turn. Okay, I'd like to see myself in a pair of glasses. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Not bad. Only trouble is, I don't need glasses. Many of us enjoy dressing up, changing the way we look. For a parade or a party, it's fun. But a good costume isn't easy to make. And once it's been worn, what do you do with it? Maybe that's one reason dolls are such popular toys. They're easy to dress up in hundreds of different ways. Uh, run that by me again. He means dolls are like little people. Right. Dressing a doll up is almost as much fun as dressing up yourself. This one's my favorite. She's a ballerina doll. We have no idea who made the first doll, but you can be sure it was handmade like this one. It looks like a penguin. Oh, wait. It's a circus strongman. I don't have any homemade dolls. Mine were all made in a factory. You mean... There are doll factories? Of course. Few dolls are handmade anymore. Most are put together by the dozens in factories. What are those things? Watch, and you'll see. aren't dolls. They look like little roast chickens or baked potatoes. This is a doll factory, not a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> These are molds for the doll's head and arms. To make them, liquid vinyl is poured into the molds. After a few minutes of heating, the liquid will become solid. I guess the vinyl is pretty strong. You can twist vinyl like this, and it'll go back to its original shape. You can squeeze it all you want, and the vinyl always springs back? Yes, that's why they say vinyl has a memory. They come out so easily. Not always. I can see that vinyl's tough, but it looks so soft. That's why they use it. Vinyl comes in many colors and looks soft and cuddly, just like real babies. I wonder what this machine is making. This is another kind of mold. It's making legs for a walking doll. Can you guess what's going on here? They're drilling holes in the doll's body to fit the arms and legs. After the holes are drilled, the doll can be put together. Because this is a walking doll, the arms and legs have to move. Someone else puts the head on. Over here, they're putting the stuffing into dolls. If I had a doll, I'd want it to be cuddly. Me too. I like the ones that feel like babies when you pick them up.
This one not only feels like a baby, it sounds like one too. You know what I like best about dolls? It's not whether they walk or squeak or anything. I like their faces. If a doll doesn't have a friendly face, no one will buy it. So the head is very important. The spray makes the head soft, so they're easier to work with. They're all bald. Not for long. This doll is getting a good head of hair. Some have very fine hair, like real hair, and it's cut the same way. Each haircut should look the same, so the hair cutter must pay close attention. They use sharp scissors, just like the barber. Maybe I should get that style. Cutting hair looks easy, but I'll bet it isn't. A little hairspray for the final touch. The eyes give the face its expression. Ooh, <laughs> that hurt. The eyeballs are popped in. Next door is the makeup department. Most dolls have their own stencil. That's a mask with the openings for the lips and eyebrows. The mask is put on, then it's sprayed with paint. The pattern comes out on the face underneath. They must make thousands of dolls. How do they dress them all? Dolls' clothes are made the same way we make our clothes. They're traced from a pattern, then cut out and stitched together. Some dolls have only one set of clothes, so they have to be carefully made. Now it's time to dress up. First, the stockings. A new dress. And shoes. The doll is now ready to join someone's family. Dolls are made to last. Most of them are very strong, even if they look fragile. This one was buried for nearly 2,000 years. It's so old, and yet it still looks like a doll. 2,000 years? It doesn't look a day over 500. <laughs> Can you design a new doll? What would it look like? What would it wear? And how would you make it special?